Hey, what's up? Let's see what's been happening in the news. A record number of fires are burning through the Amazon rainforest, more than 75,000 of them. Experts are worried that they're sending huge amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which is really bad news for global warming and for the animals and plants that live there. What do a cute little sloth, some colourful frogs and a spiky iguana have in common? They're all from the Amazon rainforest. But right now, a lot of that forest is burning. Here in Brazil, fires have been raging for weeks. They're so big that the smoke can be seen from space. And it's got a lot of conservationists and even celebrities like Leonardo DiCaprio and Ariana Grande super worried. Experts say there's been way more fires than usual this year and reckon land clearing for farming and logging is largely to blame. The Amazon is often referred to as the lungs of the earth, responsible for producing more than 20% of the entire world's oxygen. Brazil's president says the fires are normal and that he wants to continue to see the Amazon region be developed for farming and mining. But a lot of experts are calling for action and say protecting the world's largest tropical rainforest is vital in the fight against climate change. Dwayne The Rock Johnson has topped Forbes' highest paid actors list, earning a whopping $131.8 million over the past year. Coming in second was Aussie Chris Hemsworth. He may not be named after a solid mineral, but wielding this thing in Avengers Endgame helped him on his way to a cool $112.6 million. Not surprising when you star in the highest grossing film of all time, which is exactly why Robert Downey Jr. in third spot took home $97 million. Heh, I need to start acting. Explorers have revealed new footage of the most famous wreck of all time, the Titanic. It turns out it's going down like, uh, well, the Titanic. Metal-eating bacteria has been devouring the ship, which hadn't been seen in 14 years. In 1912, the Titanic was the biggest ship of its time, but it sank after hitting an iceberg. It's fascinated people ever since, and even starred in its own movie. So researchers are trying to learn everything they can about the wreck before it disappears for good. Now it's time to meet a choir which is giving young Indigenous Aussies a powerful voice. It's like a group of girls who, well, have that voice for others that don't really speak up or can't. Spinifex Gum is a musical project that combines the talents of a choir from Cairns, Malia, and two very talented Aussie musicians, Felix and Ollie, from the Cat Empire. Hello, hello. It was based from a dream that um, Felix Rubel had one day and it became a reality to speak about problems that Indigenous um, men and women face and especially um, the youth side of it. For the past 12 months, they've been touring the country together. They recently performed at Garma, where they also ran a workshop with some of the youth up there. Part of that workshop was something called Dream Baby Dream which is kind of like a protest, calling for the government to make a treaty with Australia's First Peoples. To get the message across, Felix wants to bring as many voices as possible to Canberra when they go there in September. We just really want that change to happen. And finally, to some stories that'll make you want to shimmy, shuffle, or all out run in the opposite direction. It's Move Along. This 99-year-old man is proving you're never too old to hit the dance floor. James McManus flew from Scotland to Buenos Aires for the World Tango Championships. The World War II veteran is definitely the oldest dancer to compete here ever. And while he didn't win, there's always next time. There's always room for improvement, so maybe next time I'll make a better effort. While you might think an alligator on the sidewalk would be cause for alarm, apparently it's not if you're in North Carolina in the US. Authorities were pretty chilled out about this 3.3 metre gator taking a stroll along the road. Eventually, the animal did make its way off-road again, without that much help really. And this police officer took a different tact with a rogue animal. Yep, that's a skunk with a plastic cup on its head. The officer in question ran around trying to give it a hand, only to get a very smelly thank you. Do you want to see more stories about skunks with cups on their head? Well, maybe you should search that in your 
favourite search bar, but also you could click the subscribe button so that you see more videos just like this one.